Hi, Mastercraft RV here in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And today we're gonna to do a walkthrough of a 2022 Shasta 31 OK travel trailer bunkhouse camper. Coming in at just under 6,500 pounds, it's an easy tow and it's one of our more popular campers because of the bunk room in the back. So first, let's go around the outside of the camper. Starting up at the front, power tongue jack, spot for a couple propane tanks, large pass-through storage, manual stabilizer jacks, which I prefer over the power ones myself, nice stairs going into it, power awning, uh, all the power awnings have LED lights underneath them, outdoor plug uh, for your TV, cooker, whatever, uh, outside TV plug, that's your fresh water connection for your fresh water tanks. I'm going to walk over here into the outdoor kitchen. As you can see, you got kind of a medium size outdoor refrigerator. You have, I guess that's brushed nickel uh, for the faucet and a nice little sink. Storage underneath it, storage up top, a nice work surface for uh you know, whatever you're going to be making for lunch or dinner. Uh, Shasta loves to put the flip down cargo rack on the back of their campers with the spare tire. I got to admit, that is pretty handy. Up top, you have the setup for a camera backup, backup camera, I mean. Uh, I really do uh, appreciate having one of those too because it's nice to not have to go out looking. Uh, or be yelling back and forth with your spouse or significant other. We're going to pause for a second while we go inside. All right, we're back and walking inside where hopefully the traffic won't be so noisy. Let's turn to the right and look in the bedroom. Queen bed. Lots of storage above and the side of the bed. Power plug and USB plug next to the bed. There is storage underneath the bed if you lift it up. Um... TV hookup and the power for a TV, LED lights, pocket doors. Register for the propane furnace. As you come in the door, control center for your lights awning, slide, cedra. Let's go in here. So, take a look at the decor. It's bright, colorful, kind of got that woody uh, floor look. Jackknife couch lays flat to a bed. Underneath is a uh, storage. Big U shaped booth. When you put the table down, it turns into a bed, then you have a nice long bed. Dark black uh, shades to help keep the light out so you can sleep in in the morning. If I'm sitting here on the couch, we're now looking over at the ent entertainment area. The 30 inch fireplace is at the bottom. It also will double as a space heater. Got a little bit of storage there. Sound bar, and that's the spot for your TV. This camper doesn't come with a TV. Uh, we can install one for you, or you can, you know, find a spare or something at home, put in your own. TV hookups are at the top, including an antenna booster. Before we get to the kitchen, we'll talk about the air conditioner. We Whenever possible, we buy campers that have the upgraded 15,000 BTU AC units uh, because it's just, uh, it's just silly not to. Cabinet with a nice glass uh, inlay, very pretty, also functional. Forest River gives you one year roadside assistance with the purchase of the camper. Kitchen sink. Take a look at this faucet. It is a nice black with the removable, uh, pull out here, with the removable sprayer. Uh, underneath, when we lift up the sink cover, you got a two basin stainless steel sink. Storage all underneath there. Three burner cooktop with oven, exhaust fan, microwave 
8 cubic foot, 12 volt DC refrigerator. Runs off your truck going down the highway. Runs off the battery. Yeah, I just ripped that. I'm sorry. Uh, runs off the battery. Plug it in. Runs there too, of course. We're going to keep walking back here. Next place we're going to go is into the bathroom. Commode. It's not closed because there's some free Aqua Chem stuff in there. Storage under the cabinet. Sink. Faucet. Medicine cabinet. That's me. And we look to the right here and we have a large square shower with the uh, raised area. Kind of plug that up. You can make yourself a little bit of a, of a tub. And then a skylight right above it. We'll come back out of the bathroom. Turn right like we're heading towards the bunkhouse. Take a little detour right here. We're kind of too close. You got ceiling to almost floor cabinets. Then we go into the bunk area and we got four, uh, we got three, for some reason I can't seem to count, three bunks that can sleep four people. So on the left hand side you got double bunk, shelves, and it looks like a piece of tape came off there. We got to fix that. Underneath here we got more shelves in a cabinet, cabinet, shelves, shelves, shelf. Oh, that, those shelves we showed you before. Lots of shelves, USB, USB, USB power. Lots of USB power because, you know, lots of people use phones and stuff, right? So then we got single bunks over here. I suggest a lot of people buy bunk houses. They don't always listen because look, you lift up the mattress and now you have a big shelf. So, if you don't think you have enough storage, get a bunkhouse. Flip up the mattress, you got yourself a shelf. Yeah, if you ever need a uh, place for an extra person to stay, you have the bunk. Or maybe you just don't want to sleep next to somebody else in that other bedroom because they're snoring. You still have the bunk. Shasta, 31 okay, as in outdoor kitchen. It's a big outdoor kitchen, separate bunk room to put the kids in by themselves so you can enjoy your evening after 8 p.m. Come on down and see it. Mastercrafts RV Center, 5400 Fort Campbell Boulevard, Hopkinsville, Kentucky.